Hi there, welcome back, 812 right now. So the pandemic, oh man, it has been hard on all of us with many people looking for ways to cope. A lot of areas have unfortunately seen a rise in alcohol and substance abuse. And today, King County is going to have its first annual conference on addiction disorders to discuss some of the issues in our area that we are dealing with right now. Uh, we want to bring in Council Member Reagan Dunn, the host of today's virtual event, to talk a little bit about this. Joining us now live. Good morning, Council Member. Thank you for being here. Good morning, Liz. Thanks for having me. So let's talk a little bit about uh, what exactly we have been dealing with in the county when it comes to addiction over the past year. Well, the pandemic has really made a huge negative impact in substance use and substance abuse. We see double digit increases in people turning to drugs and alcohol as a direct uh, result of the pandemic. Very significant problems. We've seen alcohol sales shoot up nearly 30%. Uh, we've seen our treatment facilities stretched to the max. And so it's a real problem that I think we need to focus on. And that's what that conference is about today, focusing on that issue. So when we focus on addiction, obviously we're trying to help people get out of that space. Uh, I mean, what do we need to do as a community, as a county, uh, to serve people right now who are suffering? Well, first of all, we need to do a good job of educating and, and letting people know, you know, what is uh, substance abuse, uh, substance use disorder, uh, what are the avenues that we can follow through to give people treatment? Um, those are the things that we are, are focusing on today. You know, what do you do if you have a family member or a friend uh, or a spouse who is suffering from alcoholism or drug abuse? Where can you turn? Uh, how do you pay for it? And what we want to do is create a safe harbor for people who are suffering from this disease to find a safe harbor for them to recover. Uh, and really bring together a bipartisan approach to solve the problem of substance use in our community to make it uh, better uh, in the long run. It's good to hear bipartisan, especially when you talk about how incredibly divisive we can all be. I feel like we can all get on board with this. I mean, especially when you talk a little bit about, um, you said, a, you know, kind of a safe space. I do feel like there is a massive stigma surrounding people who need help, and I feel like that stops them from getting help. Yeah, and, and they don't talk about it very much. I mean, for example, I'm a recovering alcoholic. I have years of sobriety under my belt. I've been very open about it. But people are scared to talk about it, and certainly we respect their privacy, but the stigma that is attached to any kind of a, a disease like this, a, 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 whether it's drug use or alcoholism, uh, prevents people from getting the help they need. And one of the things we're focusing on in this conference is the issue of stigmatization as it affects both addicts and people who are in recovery. And how do we better address that and sort of take the fear level down so people are open and honest and willing to share their problems so they can get the help they need. Yeah, and I, I appreciate you willing to share your own experience. I mean, I'm sure that's helpful for people to hear, absolutely. Uh, and, and when we talk about, I mean, this is not, is not just for people who are addicted. This sounds like it's also for family members and friends and, and anyone who wants those additional resources. That's exactly right. I mean, as I mentioned earlier, it's bipartisan effort, right? We want to get people on all sides of the political spectrum to talk about this issue in the same way. And we want to create this safe harbor so <clears throat> however somebody gets in the system, whether they show up at the front door of a treatment facility or they're, they're moved in through the criminal justice system or, or, or by uh, intervention through family members, whatever it is, mm -hmm. we want to create the infrastructure necessary at the back end to receive those individuals and make sure they get the help they need. And I, see, I think that's a winning uh, issue and a winning cause for our whole community, and that's why we're working on it and being so public about it. And it is virtual, which, you know, it, that feels easier than ever to attend. So uh, bottom line here, what time is it at, and how do people join you today? It starts at 10 o'clock this morning. Uh, come go to my website, kingcounty.gov, mm -hmm. and, uh, and you won't, your, your picture and name won't show up. So it is anonymous in that regard. And uh, listen in, and there will be something for everyone over the course of this half-day conference we have. Awesome. Council Member Reagan Dunn, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, hopefully this can put us all on the right path. Appreciate it. Thanks, Liz. Appreciate it.